Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is SAT TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Will Wallace of SAT Plating. Will, thank you very much for joining me today. Tell me a little bit more about the company because it's quite specialised. It is. Uh, what we specialise in doing is plating uh, high performance plastics and different types of composites. Uh, we're plating typically with materials like copper, nickel and gold. Uh, typically for an EMI shielding purpose, some sort of electrical uh, enhancement to a component. Particularly looking at the satellite and space sectors, what are the key segments for you? Uh, we find the most traction and value for us uh, in the satellite world for waveguides and feeds. Um, you know, these are existing components that have been on you know, all the satellites that have been launched before. Uh, generally those are from machined aluminum. Uh, in today's more commercialized market, uh, some of the new entrants are forcing uh, the industry to go lighter and make their components uh, more inexpensively. Uh, so the value we bring uh, is a capability for manufacturers to make their satellite components out of plastic, but have us plate it, metalize it, uh, giving it uh, the metallic performance uh, that a satellite waveguide or an antenna uh, requires. And tell me a bit, little bit more about the materials. I assume they're evolving all the time. They are. Uh, we typically, you know, the usual suspects uh, in, in the pla plastics world, you know, Peak and Altem uh, are, are two very solid and robust materials that are well known. Uh, we played a lot of Peak and Altem. Um, whether it's carbon fiber filled, glass filled, um, those are all uh, within our capabilities for the materials. So looking forward, how do you see the market evolving, for, particularly for a company that's so specialist? Uh, I see us, you know, we're evolving very well and we're getting more and more inquiries uh, for, for our services and it's, it's all about driving costs uh, down. Uh, in, in streamlining and making uh, manufacturing processes more efficient uh, to serve the consumer base. And geographically, do you operate globally? Do you export globally? Uh, there's no uh, limit or restrictions on what we can export depending on the uh, ITAR uh, restrictions. We do a lot of defense work, but we, we also do uh, a lot of commercial work as well. So our services are available globally. And you are clearly one of the market leaders. What is the competition like in the market? Uh, you know, in the, in the world of plating on the high performance plastics, there really are only a, a few uh, key organizations out there that really excel uh, at plating these materials that we mentioned. Um, it's easy to do uh, a few one-off components that, that look great, you call them lab queens. Uh, and that, that's great for very low volume or research and development efforts, but if there's scale or volume to a component, uh, you really need a, a robust plating operation uh, that can get consistent and repeatable results. So quality is everything when you're, when you're doing high volume plating. And as a, for a company like SAT Plating, is there anything holding back materials evolving? Holding back the materials? No, it's really your imagination. You know, there's, there's, we're presented with very unique uh, materials, typically around the additive manufacturing and 3D printing world. There's a lot of advancements being made there. Uh, so there's some very unique and promising materials that are being developed uh, that we've been involved with on, on, on an R&D level, seeing how uh, the material uh, performs, but also how our plating performs with that material. So it's really uh, you know, the industry and how, how much uh, innovation they want to pursue. Well, well, interesting times. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you.